Let's go back to 2017 and observe a flat earth debate. Got it! And away we go! Birds, are you in Australia? Australia? How do, how do you know Australia exists? What I'm asking you if you're there. <laughs> what a relevant question. Derba, derba. I want a t-shirt, where's Australia at? Flat Earthers don't believe Australia exists. The, the atmospheric pressure that it's floating in is 14. <laughs> no, 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 David. 14 pounds no, per square no, inch. David. No, yes, David. Yes. That's what no, it says the, here. The atmospheric pressure it's floating in is none. It's in orbit, for one, not floating. Uh, no, the it's, pressure it's, is inside exactly. the ISS. Exactly. There's no pressure outside the ISS. I understand that. I agree with you on that. It would be on the inside that you'd have to take the pressure test. Exactly. Yeah. About. Yeah. The, it's one. So how one thick? So how thick would the steel, steel have to be to hold out 14, 15 pounds per square inch of 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 pressure from the outside? Guys, oh, allow me. Allow me, David. Let me explain this one to you. The the vacuum of space is basically trying to suck. The ISS, it's trying to pull it apart from the outside. Vacuum of space doesn't wrong, suck. Wrong, yeah, wrong, doesn't wrong, suck. Wrong. Vacuum no. doesn't mean suck, it means no. empty space. That's why we don't <laughs> allow <laughs> you, Riley. Is there anything yeah, you don't Ry want? Riley. Is there absolutely wrong, anything? Riley, Riley stop conflating. Why do you think that a vacuum doesn't suck? Because it doesn't, because a vacuum is synonymous with empty space. Flat Earthers think the vacuum of space sucks. This better be a vacuum and not a pressurized test. What happens with a pill container in a vacuum chamber? Will it explode? I did not uh, see that tube crush in on itself. I saw the top get yanked out of it. Yeah, that's all I saw, the top come off of it. Yeah, that's what I saw that's too. It's not an implosion. So it's not an implosion then, is it? Why so then, what, so then what are you doing? You're just Googling? So are you just Googling like things that are implode under pressure? <laughs> and you're getting ripped off by these crappy people? That's what it means. What it means is what it means. That's what it means. That's what it means. That's what it means. It really looks like you're just Googling what you want to Google. You're putting videos in here. And they're not really helping you out. It means that you're just Googling what you want to Google. I think this is your opportunity to read gracefully. Anthony. Me and Riley have knocked y'all out of hand. Go, Riley, get on. Yeah, go Riley, go lie some more, Riley. It means that where, David's where 14 PSI on, Riley, comment is right. More. We need some more lies, man. We get wrecked. It's <laughs> not squishing onto itself. Demonstrated that if something is pressurized inside a vacuum, it exerts a pressure on the outside and <laughs> and explodes. So it's enough, the pressure differential. Oh, my God. Do you think the ISS has a snap cap like a pill bottle? <laughs> no, but what I think, David, that, if what you, I think is embarrassing. Is, if you open one of the hatches in outer space, it would be. If you open it outer space, it would be. Of the same race I am. David's I really right, Kurt. I'm talking yeah. about the human race. Flat Earthers are not good researchers. Let's give it one try because I've got it on the screen now. Just for just for a couple of minutes, let's let me and Curved talk. Curved, if a vacuum's not sucking, talk me through what's happening here while the tanker's getting like it's be, they're creating a tanker vacuum, and they're putting the vacuum up and up and up and up and up. So the the vacuum strength is getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and then eventually the sucking effect squashes or implodes the tanker. So talk to me about how this is not. This is that would be there. How is a vacuum can, not? How, I can How tell is it? You. Yeah, go on. It's it's not the vacuum sucking the tank in. It's the exterior pressure. It's the air no. atmospheric pressure. That's yes, wrong. when there's not when there it's is the not air. enough pressure right. inside to offset. We missed it. Tank. It's the rush it's of air. It's the rush of air, you know, rushing in to replace the 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 empty space. What? So so you're what telling me that here? What happened? Oh, it, here? they didn't open it. Oh, they didn't open it. Oh, okay. 
it it's is. open from the inside. It, is, it, it, it depends on how thick the steel is, okay? Yeah, it, 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 it's how much pressure it, it'll take. Keeping force, and I've just shown evidence that indicates that it is. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't care to yeah, show how. Can I just interrupt, please? Can you play the video from the start, Anthony, and show right, well, where they drop a great big concrete block on it? I've got yeah, this on it. Guys, stop a Guys, stop a sec. Play the Stop. video from the start, Anthony, where they drop a great big concrete block on the tanker. Right. When they, uh, right at the beginning, they tried to implode said I the tanker. They because tried to implode it with no damage and nothing happens. So right. then they and get a crane was what? and they drop a great big concrete block on it, Anthony. Mark, Stop you being said such that. Well, this thing's going to collapse. That's it. That's an hour. Let's cut it. Turn it off. Copy. So it just goes to show you got to test things. That's the sound of disappointment, ladies and gentlemen. In desperation, we dropped a 3,200 pound concrete block on it and left a huge dent. Not a recommended technique for proper care and feeding of a tank car. And yet it seemed to do the trick because at 23 inches of mercury, that tank car folded like Jamie's proverbial house of cards. So let's 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 define what dishonest means in this context, right? You're implying that that tanker was fully fully uh, the structure was just a normal tanker when it wasn't. Rewind the there, tape to the beginning where the they video is more damaged. This is the case try, it falls try over try something it with, with the tanker fully wait, 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 a normal David. tanker. Mark, I want specifically to know what the dishonesty on my part is. Can you tell because everybody? You're what implying you're that that tanker's got full structure. Once again, Riley is a liar. Yeah. Once Hang again, on. Riley lying Mark. again. Play the Fred video from the start. Uh, he's not just, he's not just um, pretending to be stupid. He's lying. Right, so let's clear it up for the um, audience. What is the assertion that I'm dishonest? What specifically because am I being dishonest? Because you made out about? that the, the only reason that, that tanker imploded because the, the vacuum was sucking the tanker in. Making they don't out have enough tanker, pressure. They, they don't have the tanker to a normal tanker. Information that the but, tanker hit was damaged. They right, had the damage the is showing, to do that. That was why they did showing, it. I think they're trying to show that it's the strong player. enough to resist a concrete block. I don't no, think they're, they're not. No, they're not. Play it at the beginning when they try to implode the they're tanker. Showing, they're showing David, what would happen if it damaged when it got in the red. Okay? That's what they're doing it for, to show if it yeah, went, what would happen when it red. Because one of your clients or friends is being dishonest. How am I being dishonest, Mark? What? Be specific. What right, dishonesty we am I doing? to the beginning when I try and implode no. it when nothing happens. I'm at that point, but I want to know specifically right. what my dishonesty is. Because you're misleading people. You're making but, out that the, the tanker had full structural right. value, which it didn't. No, I'm not it misleading was weakened. Anyone. I'm not yes, misleading you anybody, Mark. I'm just... all like, You saw what I did. I said yeah, tanker implosion. Yeah, I saw implosion. you did. You've been dishonest, Riley. So, so basically what you're saying is that I knew in advance that this was deliberately dis uh, damaged and that's, you think that's, that's dishonest. Yes, that's yes. That's, Why didn't you uh, make any mention of the tank of the uh, damage that's then, what happened. Because I didn't know, Mark. And let's just see whether uh, it... Oh, shut up. Well, well so hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, so wait, wait. Mark, Mark, shut up. The video. Mark, shut up. Yeah, course let's did, see. Riley. Let's see whether it was damaged. Cool. Let's see whether it was We already knocked him out, man. David, shut up. Let's see if um, it was deliberately damaged or where they tested its strength. So let's just see what they're... What they was. tell you it's deliberately damaged, Riley. You're such a liar. Man. Right. Firstly, once again, if, once again if Riley proved that he's dishonest as, as dishonest can be. All right, just, just to win an argument. Do you, do you realize right. what pressure it would David, take to David, David, wait. On on like David, that without being damaged? David, on, wait. David. Do you have any idea? Half David, steel. Wait, wait. wait. David. If, even if we can ascertain that this was damaged rather than a test of strength, does that mean that I knew about it, Mark? Because the onus is on you to prove it. What? So you've presented evidence that you haven't even watched it? Correct. I oh also... Anthony, oh, so, 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 uh, so, so, so you present, made, so you the point that made here is the ISS would do yeah, that right, same right. thing if there was... Oh, a, no, if, full if, well that you've watched it. You watched you the beginning, the you knew what was ISS, happening, and you so deliberately took that bit of the right. video... Can you prove that, to, Mark? Can you prove that I knew that I did that? Yes, because you've got dishonesty in your games, Anthony. You can't have to prove that. Everyone knows how this is. You can't prove that. You can't prove that. Debris, huh? And, and then the what happened. And the I'm fact you didn't mention anything about it, Riley. But by space proves, debris, that's what it did while they were inside dishonest. of it. Uh, Once again, so well. Riley proved to be dishonest.
I don't, I don't see that it makes any difference. So in, in either regard, I'm going to drop this in either way, that I don't see damaged or otherwise, that that doesn't affect what it was, which is a demonstration that atmospheric pressure can crush things. So damaged or otherwise, if they had to induce that, it doesn't change. They suck the air out, inducing a vacuum, and then it got crushed. So what? Thank you, Nathan. Yeah, so what? what? Who cares about the truth? Who ca yeah, I don't care. Who cares care. about the truth, Nathan? Eh, exactly. whatever. So we'll what? It didn't happen. I don't care what the details well, again, are. What proved. Correct. No, nobody's really saying we don't care about the details. We've got the details, and we've now established that it was pre-damaged to cause that effect. I mean, if if you haven't had that demonstrated to you in science class, which I have, where they took a completely, literally prepped bottle that they were going to suck the air out to demonstrate the effect of atmospheric pressure crushing something. It doesn't matter if it's prepped to do it or not. We saw the, the effects of it, and that's adequate for the demonstration that atmospheric pressure can crush things. There's the material that it is. No one's denying it that. Like so that it's really relevant evidence. whether or not the tanker is damaged. It's very relevant. Yeah, presenting that evidence without uh, no, telling us that he was damaged in the first place. Without the damage, we would not have worked being dishonest to win his argument. He said already, and Mark, about two or three times that he didn't know, and now we've established it, and you're continually labouring that point. Thank you for letting us know. It was pre-damaged so that that effect could be caused. Thanks for letting us know, Mark. Nice to be informed. It was dishonest then. No. Well, Riley right. could have informed Guys, us. Stop, yeah. stop. Let me, let, me, let me address that. I can confirm that they did damage it on purpose and put a dimple in it. However, I did not <laughs> Dimple, know that. They dropped a concrete block with a crane in it. Don't make out again, Riley. Right, Mark, shut up. They Dimple. did drop it to cause damage because they said the word dimple in the thing and it was the dimple that would cause it to implode because it makes a weakness in it. And it's... You've got a dent. You've got a dent. I'm a huge dent. Huge dent. However, I did not know about it and Mark cannot prove I did. So I wasn't dishonest. Well, Mark, you can yes, you was. You did you dishonest. Well, if you want to, Riley, but if you clearly did watch. Unless you can, and himself. the onus is on you. I unless wasn't you dishonest. I'm just an idiot. Unless you can prove that I was dishonest, Mark, you've got to retract. Yes, yourself. you was dishonest, Riley, presenting evidence proof? that you had no idea what proof? was what it was. Right, so if I had no idea, that means I couldn't have been dishonest then. Well, you so was dishonest because you presented it as something that it clearly wasn't. That you knew. Something that you knew what it was. You presented it as if you knew what it was. So you're dishonest oh, whatever way you put it up, Riley. And we, yeah, so you clearly yeah. watched the video, Riley, but you picked the bit that you yeah, wanted to further it. your argument. That he doesn't mean sure I saw that it was damaged on purpose. You just hoping, that you was just hoping. That does not mean I saw that it was damaged and on purpose. You was just hoping no one watched the video, no. which I no. no. we we did. It says it's still inside our atmosphere. We did figure that out, though, didn't we? But it doesn't. It doesn't make any difference. And I'm going to reiterate this. It's a demonstration that the pressure can cause something that's got a vacuum. To crush and we're having the reverse argument with the ISS that the pressure inside the ISS acting against a vacuum on the outside could damage it or not and it doesn't change that demonstrations quality that demonstration adequately demonstrated that regardless of whether it was prepped to do it or not and it doesn't demonstrate dishonesty at all it would not have collapsed had it not been damaged, so it does change the outcome. doesn't make any difference. It shows that atmospheric pressure can demonstrate things. If they'd prefabricated it to be crushed, it wouldn't make any difference. Whether or not the tanker collapsed or did if, not if, collapse. If well, that's enough. Flat Earth debates never get anywhere. Plasma, 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 plasma.